Welcome back to the vlog. The boys had a boys fishing day. So enjoy the video. There's some ducks. The little dog seems like he's uh, a little apprehensive about water. The water level's also gone down like it has been really high, but it looks like it's already gone down a few feet. It eventually the dirt settles, Nathan. And he's being a complete crackhead, but the highway's really close to this, so we can't really just let him free. Night night, you want the two on this wet stick I found? Weirdo. Yeah, this is kind of interesting because this is like that bush right out there is usually like right at the bottom of the boat ramp. Because this is where the boat ramp is. Usually you back all the way past all those. This is very deep right at the moment. The wind's kicking up a little bit. It's a little disappointing they didn't take the boat. I'm also once again on a cliff. Occasionally my uh, rock tries to slide up underneath me, so it's interesting. Some random F-150 pull up. This is another reason we don't want out-of-staters in Montana, because it's like they're used to like, oh yeah, if I go on a hiking trail, there's going to be somebody two feet from me. So it's fine if like there's a place where there's clearly only one little tiny spot to fish. Let's all pull in right on top of each other. Cause then the thing is too, is they're the same exact people that'll be the ones that'll walk and stand like three feet from you and cast, and then cast over your line. Then when it gets tangled, be like, oh, I'm sorry. When it's like, dude, you should be punched in the throat. But, yeah, yeah I guess, I don't know. Cameras never do. Like even looking at them until you're standing or driving on them. Hills never really look as bad as they are until you're sliding down it. And then obviously burrs. Probably hear Nine Nine down there barking because I mentioned with the road right there, we don't trust him. At some point, I'll probably take some time to just throw sticks for him and hope he can lure Zoom in. But we'll see. We also have that kind of typical Montana weather where it's inconsistent and it's kind of miserable because it's like when the sun goes behind a cloud, then with the wind, it's actually not cold but cool enough where you need long sleeves and then I get a bite on. <laughs> miserable because then the sun comes out and you're cooking and it's like it was kind of starting to rain so I have my north face on because it's water resistant so it's like and then it's black so the moment the sun comes out I go from like it's about maybe just a touch too warm with the north face but it's fine to like on fire so yeah it's uh entertaining and no I do not blame the vlog for that because I got a good yank on it so Clearly, um, if it would have been on there good enough, that would have been a good one. This is also kind of funny because all those rocks that aren't like embedded in the hillside nice are all ones that have uh, resulted from my gradual slide. And uh, you can probably tell I'm closer to water than I was. I'm just hoping I don't end up in. So I reeled in to check. It ripped the like the like inch of my worm that wasn't actually like fully on the hook that was kind of dangly. It grabbed that, ripped it off, and like slightly loosened my worm. So yeah, there was definitely like a legitimate bite there. There's any some vehicles up on that hillside. Interesting, I didn't even realize there was a road over there. Oh, I lost them there, there. Huh, weird. Yeah, this uh, fish is smart. Cause I basically, like I just slid the worm back up a little bit and then like recast. And I got it where like almost the whole thing was on there but there was like one little loop that was like a half inch. And I cast again and then went and like that was bit out of the worm. Now it's basically all on the hook. But it did just bump a little bit again. So I don't know what's happening. It's probably, it probably figured out a way to get all of it. Kind of hard to pick up in the video, but based on where my line is, I'm probably not even into the actual, like when it's low where the water level is, but the funny thing about it is, is it's like, it drops off so steep once you cast, like I could cast like 50 yards out and by the time it sank and like, you know, because of the tension on the line, once it kind of came back to where it was going to come, it'd probably only be like 25 yards offshore because it's so steep. I don't know if it stays dropping off that sharply inside in the 
deeper out there, so. So that's where my rock I was sitting on started. Kind of got a flat spot for me to stand on now. What? Yeah. What, bud? Did come up on I don't know. Did you lure him? That rock? Yeah. It better not. If that rock falls, it's going to take me out. I know. Hi, Dad. Hi. Whoa! There's a rock right here. Well, this whole hill's rocks. This whole hill's rocks? Yeah. Yeah, no, there's one right down here in the water. It's got a pretty big crack in it. I don't see it. Well, you good? Yeah. You're lucky I try, try to trust you. My shoes are soaked. Yeah, that's also a traction problem for coming down here. I hope you can figure out how to swim quick, because if you roll down this hill, I'm probably not grabbing you. I'm obviously kidding. Well, this is a big hill. How did you get downhill anyway? The same way you are, but I'm bigger and more practiced at this. That's I mean, I guess I wasn't sitting down. How did that big stick get here? It's a tree that washed down over. Oh. I'm over there. No, it probably washed down right along here. Cause see, there's trees down that way. If one of those tipped over, that'd be all it'd take. Cause when it gets the water gets this high, it erodes the ground. When I'm, a rock is way in the water by the under ones. Oh, I know. I'm not a dozen in, depending on. Count that little pile right there. And like two or three big ones. Up two and three. Just stop. What? Don't come any further down the hill. You've also got the side of that bugle's bag all ripped. I know. Back. I'm giving it a chance to actually take the worm this time. Hi. Look at that. I had it where it was just on the hook. It nibbled some out of the, the side of the worm. That's a smart fish. There's still a little bit on there. I'm going to give it one more try with this particular worm. See, this is exactly why pole holders are nice. Because it's like, when you can't feel them touch it, they get a chance to like get the thing bit good. When it's in your hand and you can feel everything they do. Because it's like when it nibbled that first, the first decent bite off. If I, if I would have taken like another like second and a half, it probably would have gotten the worm further in. Climb. But... Yeah, since it's in my hand, I yank too fast, and that's kind of like last time I tried to be patient. It sat there and ate the side. I don't know, because if I had it in a pole holder, it might have sat there till it ate the whole worm, and then I would have noticed it. But I was just gonna try to wad my pole in the hillside. But this air, this terrain is not very conducive. I guess like making a pole holder out of rocks, which I do quite frequently, would work. Well, you might have to wait until I leave because uh, I'm probably leaving the spot here soon. Because I don't have worm left, really. He's making pretty good progress besides the number of rocks he's kicked down that have almost hit me. Looks like he's going to be fine. Well, I know. It's because he's he'd end up up on the... I don't know. I'll probably go back and get a pole holder and cast somewhere different and let him, let him or at least be leashed. Good job. Proud of you. Oh, my little spot here, my purge. That'd be kind of funny because purge is probably what we'd be most likely to catch. I'd be intrigued how that happened. And they'll say like someone wrecked into the guardrail and they left that bent when they put the new guardrail in. Because otherwise you'd have to get really close to the guardrail and have something dangling over to do that. There's the uh, spillway. I was going to say that looks like it might be good to fish there, but... We brought the mostly came this way so the dogs could swim. So if they get swept down that thing, that'd be real bad. Ow! 
Night, night. Quit tangling in, Nathan. I don't know. Because right in front of that spillway is super calm and kind of a... Come on. Well, you still got him on the leash. Don't worry about it. What? That's where it goes into the creek. Yep, yep. What happens if the dog got into the creek? Well, nothing down where it's not on the spillway. This is the uh, dam, and it's actually uh, not even half as steep as over there. He can't get washed away. We came around the corner from where the spillway is, bud. Well, yeah, because if it got too, if they just, if they left it fully dammed and it didn't go over the spillway, it'd end up up over the highway. And heck, if there was enough water, it could start to flood the towns and stuff down there. Or, so, I mean, I guess if it got up where it was getting on the road, it'd go over the, it'd go over the dam before it get any towns. Come here tonight. Oh my God, Zuma is trying to get that log that's bigger than him out of there. This moss is pretty cool looking on these rocks. Moss slash algae. Dog, don't go by my pole, please. Kind of funny, this stick I just threw for Nine Night. It's all, it almost looks kind of like a natural ore. A little bit twisted. Well, at least he's not six inches from me like last time. I love when he carries a stick like that, so it looks like a cigar. You're not shaking by me this time. Sitting there kind of majestically, being afraid of the water. It's mostly just wet from night night shaking by him. He's shivering a little. Well, we kind of have a reverse Dalmatian now with all the uh, birds he's got stuck to his head and such. And then zoom in here, night night before uh, I took it's in my pocket before I took the bugle from him. He spilled some in there, so he's willing to get tangled up in that bush to get to one bugle. I'm... This is kind of interesting. Cause look, look how high the water's been. You can kind of see, like, no, no, like right there, and then across on that side. It's so that people don't go like in some sort of boat and get close and end up washed over that. Although, that would honestly be a really fun raft ride. So my kid thinks he needs these uh, sticks. He tried to get me to help, but I've got two dogs, worms, fishing pole. And uh, he's trying to get peed on. Interesting. Pick it up. Touch it. Pick it up. How am I gonna do that? Well, get your hands out of your like get get your hands back out of your sleeve. Right. Now grab it. What? Like those? Wherever you want. It's not like a walleye. It doesn't have any spines. Pick it all the way up. Spine. Walleyes have sharp fine. Uh, Sharp fins. These fishes. Nathan, Nathan caught a little perch. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, don't screw with that one. They have spiny Bruce fins. Bruce, will take Walk over to Bruce. Go to Bruce, bud. Yeah. Gets bound to from destroy his new shoes and stuff. Yeah, he's not gonna make it back 20 feet. He's been way past that. It's kind of interesting because can I get where you can see? Yeah, that orange, that's the top of a T post. And he actually swam into it at one point, swam into it at one point. It's kind of crazy how far the dirt he kicked up is getting, especially considering the fact the currents or the winds blowing the water this way. He's a wussy. He's all crammed up under there. I'm cold. Zuma! Hey, Zuma! <laughs> I won't. Hey, give me a hedgehog. Huh? Wait a minute here. Second time you've been out, huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, we'll go to Canyon. I'm going to Canyon Bury. You've got burrs on your penis, dog. What is this stuff? We know Canyon These... Bury saw it off. Yeah. I don't know what they look like. They look like foam. Yeah. Okay, so this thing opens where it'll clear my. But then that thing. Oh yeah. It drives me nuts. 
This is kind of crazy. I know it's from a distance, like how hollow that's getting, but that's kind of weird. Like how there's that part that's still solid and that pointy piece. That one's, oh my God. I guess I probably shouldn't do that. You never know what's living in there. It is kind of crazy. Like that one ain't like that. It's like the only, is that the only one? Oh yeah, because even that one up there is hollow. That one's hollow. Good God. Okay, I just got in the house and took my shoes off. One of those birds got like inside, and it wasn't like it was like, it wasn't like up here. It was right here. Do you see a stone anywhere? She isn't. Like a giant stone. That would be a boulder. Do you see a boulder? No. I don't either. Oh, wait. I found it. Dude, that'd be a good one to push oh, down dude. the hill. How am I supposed to get that? Huh. Spiders, of course. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we'll see you in the next one.